talk about a topic I've been hearing a lot of people talk about recently, and that's, is college worth it? And really, is college necessary? And I've heard a lot of people talk about this from, it could be like uh, the, the morning program on C-SPAN. I've heard people write books about this. There's been journal articles, uh, radio programs on uh, NPR. So a lot of people have been talking about this. So I really break it into uh, a couple of different categories. So really it's like, stop popping the horn. Okay. So it's like, you know, first off, what are the career goals? If a person knows what they want to do for a career, so do they, does a career need a college degree? Yes or no? Obviously if it does, then you have to go anyway. So there's not really any dispute about that. For example, I work in education and you have to get a bachelor's degree or even to make yourself competitive once you get out there to actually go in to get a job, you, in a lot of cases you need a master's degree. Same thing with the medical field, law degree. Have to have it. Doesn't doesn't make a difference. Other areas for people who don't know what they want to do for a career. So what they could do is they could go and they could take a variety of classes for a year or two and they can kind of get a taste and a flavor about what they're really interested in and do it that way. And it seems to be like a whole lot of, like a bit of a negative view of doing this because it's people are all saying like, oh, they, they kind of consider these people like drifters or just floaters. Like, like they don't, they're just like wandering aimlessly, like they don't know what, what they want to do. Completely disagree. You know, this is an important choice, what you want to do for a career, for your life, to support yourself. Something that should match up completely or somewhat with your interest and with your passion. So, I mean, if you're watching this and you're going to be going to, to college soon or you know some, somebody who is, don't listen to that. You know, a, a career is something that you're going to be doing decades and decades. So, you know, make sure that you choose something, invest the time and the money in something that you really want to commit to and do, not just something that, that you think, oh, well, this is going to be hot for a couple of years and I'll do this and then... You know, it doesn't really turn out that way, or, or it's actually a little bit harder to get into it than what it was. And, or maybe you don't even like to feel it at all once you get into going into it. So, what I say is, regardless, I, I think really going and getting a college degree and taking college classes could be helpful in that regard. Uh, something I noted down too was to, to, to go to a community college where a lot of classes are considerably reduced price, then you can get a good flavor of classes, and that's what I did before I, I finished up at San Diego State, and even after that, I've been taking uh, Spanish courses at the local community college, I've been taking some history classes that I never even took back when I was an undergraduate, and I enjoyed it, loved it. I think it's a, a great experience, and... I don't know about where you guys live, but uh, where I live, community colleges are awesome, and a lot of, a lot of the professors there are the same caliber as, as the ones that are at the local universities, uh, University of California, San Diego, or San Diego State University, or University of San Diego, and they have, of course they have uh, master's degrees, a lot of them have PhDs, so uh, small class sizes for people who kind of prefer that smaller than what's at the local universities. So, you know, take advantage. If you have a community college in your area and you're not really sure what you want to do or what, where your passion or your interest is in, go there and just take a whole smorgasbord of classes. You only have to go full-time. Take, take a handful here and there while, while you're trying to support yourself, get some income coming in so you can pay for rent if you're not living with a family or... or Pay for the fuel costs, pay for your few food and things like that. Something else to say is that getting a college degree or taking college classes can definitely be helpful, regardless of what what your what your career that you want to do. Now, kind of look at my case is that even if I wasn't going to work in education, 
I think it's really helpful because it helped me a lot with writing skills and analytical skills. A lot of the classes I took, the, the political science courses, the history courses, the economics courses, I, I got a skill by going and learning information and being able to understand that and being able to go and apply that and writing that into a report, into a paper, and learning that. I mean, that's a valuable skill that I can go and I can use that on a job. So, and those courses I just told you, political science, history, economics, those are in the social sciences. A lot of people are kind of, uh, you know, putting a storm cloud over all that genre of courses when there's great skills that people can go and they can learn out of that. You know, people are... It's all about the, about the STEM fields, and I understand it. I, I, I could have gone there, I could have made, you know, uh, you know $60,000, $80,000, even $90,000. I heard a couple minutes ago on a, a PBS program, they're talking about what the software programmers, the, the entry level wage is like $90-something thousand for that. I could, I could have gone and done that, but, uh, but I understood. I had some passion in what I learned, what I studied, what I majored in, and so... I was able to use that. Lastly, I would say that going to college or, as I've said before, just taking college classes, being in the environment, can help you transition to your career regardless. A lot of times, pretty much every college campus that I can think of in the area, they have a lot of uh, career events, career fairs, where different employers are going to come to the campus and you'll be able to meet and interact with them and get an opportunity to learn a little bit more in depth about an industry or a specific employer and get some first-hand knowledge and meet somebody who's there on the inside. And sure, you, you, you can go to one that's, that's not at a university or at a college campus, but how can I say this? So wait, I, I think it... I think the, the tone of being coming for them to come to a university campus, an academic setting like that, it, it's a little more of a notch up the scale as opposed to just something general where, where the general public can come and show up and do it. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit higher up, a higher level when it's like that. So, and also I would say that. Uh, when they're helping you transition into the career, they, they have uh, career services departments at colleges and universities. And a lot of times they'll have a certain website where they'll post job, uh, job postings or certain companies saying that they want to hire uh, this number of people there. And they have a good relationship with that college university. And they'll be able to kind of maybe... Fast check you in, fast check in when they're, when they're looking at your resume or the application, things like that, because they'll have a link from the Career Services website that goes from you from when you fill it out, it goes directly to them. It's not one of those where it's just the general public and they'll know, oh yeah, we, we have this relationship with, with this organization, this campus, and oh, I, I see that, you know, this person applied, John Smith, oh yeah, okay, so he's affiliated with them. I, I know uh, Joe over there at the Career Services. Okay, this is pretty interesting. I, I was just over there a couple of weeks back, a meeting with them. Okay. So he has a lot of things. Oh, I, I also went there to, to, uh, to ABC campus. I, I wonder if he took one of the, the professors I had. So, so it's kind of a, a special connection or relationship by, by doing that. A lot of times the career services as well, 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 for free, they're going to look at your resume, and they also do mock interviews, and they'll, they'll have uh, recorded interviews as well. I know that's one of the things I think, believe that they're at San Diego State, is they'll come and they'll do a mock interview, and they'll record it, and they'll let you see back how it went, and they'll give you suggestions as to how you can improve. General public doesn't have that. I mean... Maybe a company here and there that you can pay for and do it, but it's not included. So uh, that's about all I can think of there. So you know, I'm very much in favor of higher education. I think if anything, go go get the associate's degree into something. 
um, you know, get, get, get some kind of general education courses post high school. Yeah, get, just get like a full range of, of courses. Get some, take some computer classes, uh, take some math classes, take, take you know, just a, a broad range to expand your horizon. Take a, take a writing course, and improve your writing ability. So, so, just in closing, very much uh, in favor of college. So, other than that, uh, leave a comment down below. Hope this is informative and uh, interesting. Please subscribe if you want, if you're interested in more videos. So, other than that, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.